Advances in science and technology provide us with the ability to achieve greater and more in-depth understanding of nature and ourselves. Technology has changed the way we live, provided a great impetus to the computer and telecommunication industries, given us the World Wide Web and turned the world into a global village. Today, science and technology, s and are critical for economic developments. In February 2008, the federal government of Nigeria, with support from the World Bank through the Federal Ministry of Education, started implementation of STEP B project, an acronym for Science and Technology Education Post Basic Project. One of the main goals of the initiative is to produce more and better qualified science and technology graduates from senior secondary schools universities, polytechnics, and colleges of education. The project is essentially is one of the first uh, post-basic education projects in Nigeria. And uh, what that is, it covers both the secondary and the tertiary education. So we are saying that if we want to produce the critical mass of science people in Nigeria, experts, then we need to increase the base. Since 2008, the Step B project has disbursed direct grants to 196 post-basic educational institutions. The project is mainly demand-driven. This means that every institution has to decide how they would want to improve their science and technology capacity and then make proposals based on their specific needs. This model has led to increased student enrollment in science and technology subjects at all levels. 19% in universities, 17% in polytechnics, 36% in colleges of education, and 33% at unity school level. One of the main aims of the Step B project is to improve the quality of teaching. This has been achieved through teacher training seminars and workshops within and outside the country. When, the, when we started this uh, Step B program in 2007, many of us were very skeptical about it and what, is, what are they actually talking of. But by the time the implementation came in, training upon training, it gave me the opportunity of traveling nearly all over Nigeria. Just on this uh, issue of this uh, Step B, training and training makes me a better teacher giving me more confidence on myself in the profession. Another key goal of the Step B initiative is to encourage higher quality and more relevant research. Ahmadu Bello University, Zaria, has received tremendous support from Step B. The result? A quantum leap in research and innovation. When Step B came, it was a wonderful opportunity to upgrade our equipment, our facilities such that we can generate the data that can be acceptable in the international community. Because remember in science, science is not a local issue. As you can see, some of the equipment we have here in these labs, they are not here before. Now that they are here, they have not only upgraded the lab we are in, it upgrades the department, upgrades the university, because there is a place you can go and do some work either to now, you could not. Initially, if you ask if I would ever want to be interested in research, I'll tell you no, because the instruments were never there. But right now, there's this yearning, there's this passion. Even when the lecturers are not there, we're always like yearning, size, anything, we come in, and then we walk, not just before or while we are carrying out our own project. We are also called in to assist other students who are not familiar with this equipment. So it has actually made studying very interesting, especially with nutrition. One area of interest that Step B has not overlooked is the provision of greater access to science and technology programs for all, with particular emphasis for women. The Federal Government Girls College Wari in Abuja, Federal Government Girls College Zaria, and the Federal Government Girls College Ikbetumodu are just a few examples of this innovative approach to girl-child education in Nigeria. The success of this model has led to a dramatic increase in female student participation in the sciences. 
I want to study computer engineering basically. So with the knowledge I have, I want to be able to help, even if it's only in the mechanical aspect of computers I can help, I want to be able to help in that aspect, maybe improve, improve the use of computers and technology in Nigeria. I would like to make my, make my school and my country proud because I know this school has given me a lot of opportunities, which even if it's the only way I can pay back, I like to pay them back. Mr. B has been a big, big plus. I can confidently say that if you come to Federal Government College Ikeun and you don't do well in the sciences, something else is wrong. It won't be the infrastructure, it won't be the teachers, it won't be the equipment. As Nigeria continues to pursue this systematic approach to science and technology education, it is hoped that the future will produce a critical mass of researchers and skilled personnel whose knowledge will aid the country in achieving economic growth and development.